Welcome to MOS Tips. What happened to Ein's brain? Before his death in 1955, Albert Einstein had requested that he be cremated, so his corpse didn't become the plaything of superfans and scientists. Yet the on-duty pathologist, Thomas Harvey, removed Einstein's brain during the eminent physicist's autopsy. Many were outraged, but Harvey convinced Einstein's son to let him keep the brain, promising that it would further the cause of neuroscience. Indeed, he sliced the brain into over 200 pieces, some of which he sent to medical experts in the hope they could end e clues to Einstein's brilliance. However, few were, few were interested in this madcap scheme, so Harvey kept most of the brain, in two jars, inside a air cooler. Eventually, he tried to pass the bits of brain on to Einstein's granddaughter, but she didn't want them either. It wasn't until 1978, when a journalist reported Harvey's bizarre quest, that scientists took an interest. But Harvey's DIY approach to preservation likely means any experimental results or oddy brain slices are now kept into American medical museums. Subscribe and like tips.